well, this should be interesting. I actually used to be a barman back in the day. And kind of like for this reason, that is why I wanted to review Happy Hour Hero. And with that, let us jump in, shall we? Ooh, look at that. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oops, spill a bit there. There we go. Oh, you want a cocktail as well? And so, Happy Hour Hero, or as I might mention it, because it's a rather long name, is a bar simulator, and it kind of does make a change from all these cooking simulators out there that, let's face it, are pretty well all the same. You're a new starter. Get in there, lad. Let me show you the ropes in the tutorial. And then your boss pretty well buggers off then and leaves you to run the bar on your own. Which can admittedly be a little bit daunting. <sighs> can be played standing, sitting, or indeed room scaled, which is pretty cool if you've got the room that you can just move around at your own leisure around the bar serving in almost more of a real time type feeling. Admittedly, it did take me a little bit of time to get to grips with these controls. Not so much get to grips with the controls, more the fact of picking things up. As you would imagine, serving drinks, one of the key things about that would be picking the drinks up, serving them without spilling them. Yeah, under normal circumstances, I possibly wouldn't have trouble picking a glass up and moving it from one area to the other. But in VR, using a controller it's kind of a learning curve and this comes from the fact that you have to pick it up at a certain angle in order to pick it up and kind of move it around without shaking it which trust me is a lot easier on the larger glasses rather than the small shot glasses thankfully you can actually refill on the go as well which is pretty cool so the main game loop of this game is basically a customer will come up they will have a patients rating you look at them in the eye and they tell you which drinks they want you then go and make them bring it back to them place it in a certain area like a literally a certain place that you have to place the glass for them to acknowledge it being theirs they then take the drink drink it down and pay and bugger off there are however three main different drinks that you have to get to grips with shots Cocktails in beer. The shots being the most basic, but harder to pick up and serve. Cocktails being a mixture of two drinks. And this is done in the way of there are several bottles. Some of them have different colored drinks in them. And yes, basically mixing them together. You do have a drink shelf that you can keep your bottles on, which means that you can keep all your drinks separated. And a handy little refill center, but you can only refill one bottle at a time. And again, this is color coded. And lastly, my favourite, not because of the drink, because I'm not really a beer person, but because you have to pick up the keg, carry it over and attach it all together in order to pour a pint. Unfortunately, there's no difference between leaving the pint glass underneath the tap to actually holding the glass underneath yourself and pouring it properly. And you can also pour pints in advance, which don't expire as far as I can see. And then when you get someone that wants a pint, you just pick it up and give it to them kind of weird but yeah at this point can i ask anyone that's enjoying this video yes you over there can you like it for me please it really does help out and also if you're a repeat viewer or you just like what you're seeing hit that subscribe button come join the family customers can get impatience and if their patience meter goes to zero they will walk away whether you've served them or not mm. on your wrist there are a few details and one of them is actually saying how well you're doing if your percentage goes down to zero, you're basically losing its game over. And should you care where you are in the global leaderboard, there is one. Now, there are a few things you can do in order to slow their patience progression down. One of them is by doing tricks or spinning a bottle, as all cocktail people do. Admittedly, I actually used to do this and it was actually a lot easier to do with real bottles than it was to do with these virtual bottles in this game. And yes, I may laugh at that, but it's actually quite ridiculous that I would find spinning a couple of bottles at the same time in real life easier than in a pretend universe. But I digress. The key here is entertainment and spinning bottles entertains people. Cha-cha! 
Maybe that should have been cha 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 or something. I don't know. As well as this, there are random times where a dartboard will show up, and you basically have to throw darts at it and You're try to hit it. well as the board as many times as you can. I will also say this is a mini game that you can go into later on, which is actually quite cool because they move around and the like. And I kind of enjoyed it. And for some inexplicable reason, there is a soda gun mini game as well where you have to hit each of these soda glasses from a distance oh, right, okay. and it gives you a bonus and if you don't it doesn't give you a bonus and then there is the tip jar or happy hour so basically if you're finding it a bit of a struggle getting over wells slightly and feeling that it's gonna be game over soon hit this bell or ring it as it is and as long as your tip jar is full you can activate happy hour and this will slow down their patience meter as well there are several modes to the game casual hardcore where you basically get one chance and if you fluff it up that's it done there is still a practice mode and then there's the happy hour hero normal mode which is just the normal mode there is however one other thing that you can do in this game and it's a bit weird because this never ever came up during my whole time as a bar person. Bowling. Yep, bowling, but the actual skittles are the bottles. And this I found really hard. For some reason, no matter how I threw the bowling balls, I found it really difficult to get it to go in the direction that I wanted it to. So this mode was largely unplayed by me, but I will probably go back to it and try and practice a little bit more. But it felt kind of not quite accurate enough. But all in all, I would probably say that the gameplay loop isn't that bad. Although if you play it for longer extensions in the casual mode, it can get a little bit boring. Graphically, I kind of felt it being a little bit bland and kind of almost a little bit boring as well. There were times where characters would do weird things as well. And also I had a problem with the seating and standing being reversed for some reason. The areas are quite static, which is a shame, whereas there's lots of people there, but no one actually doing much and some that seemed kind of broken because they were walking into things and things like that. Sound wise the music was okay well, I turned it down so it wasn't to my liking per se but you had the crowd, the sounds, the pot all smashing, the pouring of pints and glasses and all that lot. It was all there and it was fine. It kind of like served its purpose. So as usual I'm going to do the workout rating first. I would say if you've got this on a room scale, you would probably get a bit more work out than if you played it more or less the way I played it mostly. And I'm going to say this kind of only really applies to walking around and also playing it standing. It ain't very taxing at all, to be honest. The most you're going to be doing is moving your arms up and down to pour things and obviously throw a dart here and there or bowl something here and there as well. Suffice to say, it ain't taxing. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10 for the workout rating. It's not really going to be one that you're going to be going to to do a workout. And with that, let's hit the actual score. Boom, boom, boom. And you know what? I actually quite like it. I can see myself going back to this. I can also see this being not a party game, but one that I probably show people whenever someone comes around and it's like, oh, you've got a VR unit. This is a App Labs game and it does still have time to tweak a few things here and there, but I can only go on what I have in front of me. Plenty of modes-ish, different little mini games, and a nice bit of fun. Oh. It certainly won't break any boundaries and can get a little bit repetitive at times. So Happy Hour Hero is going to be getting a 6 out of 10 from me. And I also don't think it's probably going to be for everybody. I'd actually be interested to know if anyone's Just thinking of picking this one up. And also face. anyone that's thinking of picking this one up that has been a bar person now or in the past. And as always, everyone's thoughts are welcome down below. Come join us in our community Discord. The link for that is below as well. If you've enjoyed this video, then like it. And also subscribe if you want more. Because life is better when we game together.